Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to the Outer Worlds on the Xbox One X. This, as it happens, is on the Ultimate Game Pass, which I have at the moment, so I thought, what the hey, let's give it a whirl, shall we? Let's crack straight in. Looks about right, I think. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the settings just to see what we've got. <clears throat> All to do with volume, language English, conversation subtitles, uh, minimal only display subtitles for the last line when NPC says. Actually, I think we'll leave it on actually with it being the sort of game that it is. Fallout-esque, not quite as open world, but Fallout-esque we are told. Cinematic subtitles. Ah, right, okay, so that's what I have to. It's fine. This is recommended mode for the first play session. Seems reasonable. Music's awesome. Reminds me a little bit of Stargate, that music. The vibe. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. When you go out of this world, the Halcyon Colony. 23rd of the 10th, 2320. Breach of Hope Security Corridor. Oh, God. He doesn't look shifty at all. <laughs> Fugitive. Thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Oh, nice. Get to pick our build here. Aha. At least you don't have rickets. Yet. Strength affects melee weapon damage and the amount you can carry. Dexterity affects melee attack speed and ranged weapon reload speed. Well, I'm not much of a melee guy, so I'm going to go with high on the dexterity. Well, we'll go good for a sec. We've got five points. Well, we started with six points up at the top there, points remaining for attributes. So we'll go with good. Intelligence affects critical hit bonus damage. Affected skills is long guns, persuade, hack, medical, science and determination. You can see they've got a lot of ideas from the Fallout franchise, can't you? The affected skills on that dexterity were one-handed melee, handguns, dodge, block, sneak and lockpick. Yeah, that's my, that's my realm, that is, I like that. Persuade's a pretty useful one, so it's hack, though. Hand uh, Perception affects headshot and weak spot damage bonuses. Charm affects 
faction reputation and companion ability cooldowns. Persuade, lie, intimidate, hack, science, inspiration. Temperament. Affected skills, two-handed melee, lie, sneak, like medical, engineering, determination. Two health regeneration per second. So, I think I'm going to go with intelligence up a bit. So that's, yeah, yeah, long guns we'll use, persuade we'll use, hack we'll use, medical science determination, yeah, I like that. And I might take this, because this is affecting handguns, oh, that's handguns and long guns. For headshots, nice. So really, it's those three I'm interested in kicking off, I think. Got three left, put one more in each one. Lovely. Although, probably start me with a bloody melee weapon now. Although, we'll be quite fast with the melee weapon, one-handed. Need a stick with one-handed, though, I think. Right, let's do it. Skill. So, one-handed melee, two-handed melee. Handguns. Uh, what have I got here? Two available points. Right, okay. I don't... Points placed in core. Oh, I see. Right, hang on. So I need to hit A, I think, on the one I'm interested in. Oh, no, I don't. I'm struggling to see what button I need to press here. Well, this is very odd, because it says I've got points available too. But I can't seem to click on anything. So that's fine. Hit next. Oh, I see. I see. Alright, okay. I've got it. I've got it. A crack shot. Capital. Well, we've got a little bit on these already, haven't we? Oh. Oh, I see. You're spending it on the route, not on the individual thing. So that's dodge and block. Dialogue, persuade, lie, and intimidate. Stealth, yeah, it might be handy. Tech skills improve your knowledge of bodies, tools, and universe. Each point tech significantly increases medical, engineering, and... Well, engineering might be up for the old uh, making of weapons and such like, isn't it? After 50, you can specialise by adding points directly to medical, engineering, or science. Jesus, we've not got many points in it, though. Lockpick's pretty low as well. Ooh, it's a tough one. Well, lockpick's got 20. Let's, let's put it on tech. Each point in tech significantly increases my... Uh, it doesn't really mention whether or not you're going to be making weapons or not. That sort of thing. Alright, let's do it. Spirit. Tech it is. <clears throat> Lockpick was at 20 anyway, so... Although hack is still fairly low. We can always add to it later. I guess... Aptitude! Uh, colonist... Oh. 
aptitude bonus, determination, drink effect duration, block plus one, persuade plus one, shock damage received minus three, engineering plus one, dodge plus one, damage received minus three, food effect duration plus three, corrosion damage minus three percent, inspiration. Medical plus one. Wondering what medical's about. Is that to do with your health, taking your health stuff and all that? Science plus one. One hand of melee. I'm tempted to do engineering again. If I can find it again. Where are you, you beggar? There it is. This colony does love its elevators. A proper lift goes up and down. Anyone who thinks otherwise isn't fit to wear the ba to wear the badge. Being a specialist means something where you come from. A commitment to upward and downward mobility that does not have a price tag. Yeah, I, I don't know what that's all about. Elevator. Yeah. Just engineering thing to do with elevators. What's that all about? <laughs> Maybe that's not what I want after all. Oh well, let's do it. Ah, we get to make our character now. Start the game. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Likely bootlickers. <gasps> Initiate skip jump. Good looking game so far. Pretty. Status structural integrity down twenty five percent. Power levels down. <sighs> Shit. A busted ship? What? Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? 
A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Right, the journey beginneth. A little touch of the Bioshocks and Fallouts and all sorts of influences. Can you hear me? Is this thing Aye. working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. No pressure then. See you later, my friend. <clears throat> uh, I like a glove. Nice soft landing. Welcome to Halcyon. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Well, yeah, in case you missed that, <laughs> this was the guy we were supposed to be meeting. Or <laughs> we've landed on top of him. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry about that, my friend. See you in the next life. I know I'm going the wrong way, but I always look at the back before I go forward. Alright, let's go. Here's the ocean. Nice. Ah. Oh. <laughs> sort of turns around and attacks me. All right, all the buttons are our natural. Jump, crouch, A and B. Sprint, all right. Oh, I think that's where I meant to be going. Let's just check up here. Can we pick up Flora? Not as yet.
Not overly sure what I'm meant to be avoiding. I'm in the grass. I see. Well, that's quite cool. It goes sort of see-through, so you can tell you're still in it. Ah, they're up there, look. Timid canid. Awareness meters over the heads tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating or alerted. Oh, suspicious. Back to normal. Suspicious. Should be back to normal. It's a very pretty game. Said it once, I'll say it again. Oh, hello. You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Oh, I see. Nothing to worry about there then. Oh, I had a feeling that was going to happen. You have low health. Use a, use the emergency medical inhaler to heal each activation cubes of one adreno. The actual mechanics are kind of reminding me of Bioshock a little bit, I have to say. Hey, dude. Or oh, do that, do that, I think. Hey, you, come here. There's more. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Uh, what? Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. Oh, it stings. I thought you said it stinks. Sit still, I'll patch you up. What happened to you? Yeah, patch you up. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. How you feeling, dude? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Uh, what's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics. With guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Persuade, I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get help. Lie, someone grounded their ship. Illegally, I'll hunt them down for you. Intimidate. Now, what persuade are we? Intimidate is, you're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. <laughs> um, yeah, persuade. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. Nice one. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Uh, where am I? You hit your head or something? Yep. You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. <clears throat> Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. Do you know anything about the hope? The hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. I'm off. Whoa, hello, my gun's out. <laughs> Got 102 bullets, so that's pretty sweet. Oh, hello. We're going to blow that up, away. we? 
So how do I switch to my saber? Hmm, doesn't seem to... X is reload. Not sure about saber at the minute. Not the same. But we're not getting through that without shooting it, so... Curious if you can do a slide. No, you can't. Tactical time dilation. Due to the complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button, TTD, not to be confused with STD, it's a different thing altogether. Button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. So, RB. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacks drain it faster. The, TD, the TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Well, that's quite good. So, we don't have to. Well, I guess we'll pick stuff up that can refill it quicker as well, maybe. Something like that. Oh, I see. Standing still drains your TDD meter very slowly. So it must go faster if you move about. Some objects explode when you hit them. We've already done that. Why is that still there? Whoa, hello. Blimey, eh? It was deliberate, it was deliberate. Mining helmet? Sure, why not? Oh, hello. Bit cartridge, light ammo, adreno, and a light pistol. Is that not what I've got already? You yeah, found a new weapon. Switch. Uh, oh, why? Switch button. Weapon management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by navigating to the weapon, then selecting the weapon slot at the top of the screens. I can't read tonight. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. Let's just figure it out. Ah, there's the uh, saber. So I think we'll have. Well, that's a hundred. That's the same, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Light pistol. Light pistol. Same, same. They do have a condition, though. I notice. Mine's at hundred. Mine's at ninety-six at the minute. So we'll stick the saber on in case we're out of bullets. I guess. Hmm. I thought maybe we could put it in whichever slot we wanted, but I guess it will just... I'm going to assume this is D-pad it's going to use, but we'll find out, I guess. Oh, nice. I'm not seeing a stamina bar. Seems better do that however often you like. Alright, okay, you can eat food. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lockpick skills help you get the uh, get into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. 
So I don't have what I need to open that. I might do now though. Alright. Telescoping staff. The iconic Spacer's Choice telescoping staff can be modified in many ways for additional cost. Now available in Mark II. Whoa, is he? Alright, okay. You can sleep, which I assume heals you, which we don't need to do at the minute. Fish sticks, lovely. Oh, hello. Fucking hell fire. <laughs> Went on bloody fire. <laughs> See what it does when I sleep. Alright, okay. One's time forward. As it happens, that fire didn't take any help health off me. There goes nothing. Is there going to be a, a sneak attack? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Make you I'll do. Oh, his body's been well torn apart, isn't it? Should be getting ammo all right from the kills. And XP. I quite like the fact there's no stamina bar for sprinting and stuff. Make for light work of it, I think. Oh, hello. Um, might be an idea, actually, to take them out from here. Oh. Are they bad? I, I can't tell if they're bad or good. Before you get yourself killed. Hey, friendly. Hello. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders right. hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. It's just a landing violation. Let it go, love. <laughs> <laughs> Start with that. So I heard. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? He'll make it. I helped him with the pain. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Ooh, blimey. Do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Uh, don't worry, you sit tight, I'll handle it.
Talk to the lieutenant. She's certified in customer service. All right, so we've got to get to the ship. Yeah, so the baddies, you can tell because of the health bars on them. Ah, right, we've got a melee there. Whoa, Steve, what are you doing? Oh my god, what was that all about, that aiming? That said, I've been picking stuff up. I haven't put any armor on yet. I don't know what I'm wearing. Armor management. Yeah, we've got this bodysuit on three armor. That's four. And that's four. It's more of a stealthy one, that, I think. One-handed melee plus five. Tech skills plus five. Hmm. Might keep that on for now, then. It's a nice broken down menu actually. It's quite nice to have a look about. You've also got your journal for your quests. You can set the active quest and such like. And your map. Nice. Alrighty, on we go. Another wreckage over there, isn't there? Let's have a quick gander. Might be more pickups. Could be something or nothing. Yeah. Give me a cowboy hat. Come on. God damn it. Well, we'll pick up a shovel, people. There's always something to dig up. Something nasty went down between those two humans and this big fella, I think. A jeweled ring, a metal ring inset with a gemstone. This ring is an unidentified gemstone inset into its metal accent frame. It's probably not going to let you buy a new spaceship, but it's definitely worth a few bits. All right, okay, so it's sell for the money. What about... All right. So the least you can sleep is six. I'll not do it just in case the badness come back. There is a whole area to search up here, to be fair. Without going straight to the ship. It's not meant to be as open as Fallout. It's a little bit more linear, but there's still areas to search out. Yeah, it goes on for bloody mark. No, he's a bad one, isn't he? Let's do the ship first, and then we'll come back. <laughs> I want this ship to be mine. Oh. Ah, oh, she noticed that I've cleared the area. This is going to take a lot of paperwork. Woohoo! <laughs>
You can fast travel to locations you have unlocked by opening... <laughs> I didn't get to see, but never mind. Congratulations, you've gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other, every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. Skill improvements. Right, I think we've got that. All right, so we did range, didn't we, last time? Should we keep doing ranged? How many points have we got? Ten? Jesus Christ. Oh, I see. It's putting one. Yeah, adding one to each thing in the list. Tech and... Yeah, I think lockpick was the one we were... Kind of curious with. Oh, yeah. Defense skill improves your ability to avoid damage. Maybe should have um, put a bit more in defense, but I might. <laughs> Never mind, people. We're not going to get hit anyway, are we? It's, it's me. Me. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. You have unlocked. Location hit effects for tactical time dilation. Hitting enemies in different locations during TTD maims or cripples those body parts. All right, okay. Try different locations to see different effects. Hits to the chest produce different effects when using different weapons. Nice. Hang on a minute, I thought I had... Welcome to Perk Selection. On this screen you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. Ah, here we go. Toughness. You've gained... You've grown healthier in your time outside the state. Up 50% base health. I might take that actually. Nice, I like that. Extra perks on the on the go. Let's do the health one. We'll look at the others another time. We've only got one point anyway. I think that's it. Okie dokie. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Alright. So there's no the point wandering around. Are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including the cargo hold's workbench. Sword off shotgun. Yes, please. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Oh, okay. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is... Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Hello, Ada. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Uh, I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I don't appreciate being talked to that way. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? Jefferson procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. 
You realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I need to get the ship in the air. Is this Hawthorne ship? Yeah. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone <clears throat> other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. <laughs> he met my escape pod, all right, head first. Hawthorne's dead, I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Yep. I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Where am I supposed to find something like that? Uh, engineering 5. I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. I don't know what my engineering is. Uh... Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Sure. Yeah, Ada, I got it, thanks. Captain Hawthorne of the Unre Unreliable, I like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Okay. I don't want someone else being Captain Hawthorne. Well, I think we can take what we want now. We've got the Your shotgun. The is in need of repair or modification. The Crux 2000 workbench is at your... The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade and modify your weapons and armor, keeping you combat ready and tip-top shape at all times. On each screen, first select the weapon... Doesn't seem to suggest you need the engineering skill for it, though. Oh, I see. Right, so have I got anything I can modify one of the pistols with? I don't have a I don't have a mod for that anyway. Yeah, I don't have any mods by the looks of it. Tinker. Uh that tinkering's for the modding your armor then. Repair. What is? What do we need to repair stuff? Nothing I've got. All right, you can break them down. Let's try breaking down. We've got two pistols, I think.
We'll break down a sword. That's what we'll do. Three weapon parts. Oh, that's not what Tinker did. I'd actually used the wrong menu, so, so that that's your modify. What does Tinker do then? Doesn't seem to do anything at the moment. All right. Well, we know what uh, what it does. We need to go get in some bits to use it. Can we go up here? All right. Nice. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Friend Choosing a respec refunds all your skill points to the perk trees, then you can spend them in a different way. The pri all right, you can respec at any time. Would you like to spend 500 bits to read? No, I'd Before not. he died. That's good, though, if you're not happy with your build, which I am at the moment, so... No worries there. The I don't know how much 500 bits are. Powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. So this is where we need to put our new component once we find it. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. All right. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Alrighty, that'll do. Let's get out there. Let's get on with it. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Yes, it would. Sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours... Well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. I don't have a job. Really? After I patched up your friend? Yeah, fair point. I'll let it go this time. If you're looking to help us out with our Marauder problem, talk to Constable Reyes over in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Alrighty. Well, never eat shredded wheat. So we're going this way, which is the way we took a look at. Ah, look. There be a city over there, people. Hmm, to be fair, I think I went up that way last time. Wow, it's beautiful, isn't it? Space. The final frontier. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, look at the giant planet here, like Saturn. Do love me a planet with a big ring. Yeah, thank you. Bloody marauders are everywhere. I'm curious if I can sneak attack one of them or not. Oh, there's a few of them though, isn't there? Oh, hello. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Well, I need to get my aim sorted out because it's fucking awful. <laughs> Ooh, nice shiny necklace. That'll get me some coin. Oh, that's awesome. See how the city goes out onto the ocean there. Brilliant. Volcano in the background. Flying ships! Oh, what a beautiful game. Yeah, more to the point, I don't recall... I think it has been auto-saving in certain places, but let's just, you know... <laughs> let's just do a save, shall we? Yeah, it does, it does not look like there's any vegetation pickup in this game, which is a good thing as far as I'm concerned. Ah, oh, check that out. Busted spaceship landed in the water. Oh, hello. Fucking hellfire. Might as well take the meat, people. Got a tail off of that one. Can it skull? Oh, it's a skull fin. It's a ruddy great shark going to jump out and eat me. Can we go in the water? We cannot. Nice. A little bit of a shame we can't go on it, innit? Onward. That's cool, isn't it? Run up the waterfall. I love that. Little spaceships flying around. That's his das. Oh, Silas. These here are friendly people, friendly people. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. I noticed. My pod crashed in the hills about there. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? It ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. <clears throat> I never got your name. I'm Sky. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. 
I'm looking to make a little money while I'm here. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. All right, okay. You're making people pay for their own graves. Why can't you collect these fees yourself? Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. All right, I'll collect the fees for you. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why is Abernathy a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. There was something else I wanted to ask you. Yeah? This town must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. And how long have you been a janitor here, Silas? Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one... Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. That's all for now, my friend. So I guess the question is, can we see the journal and yeah, Silas, the local grave digger, asked you to collect money from a few workers late on the payments. Nice. So that's our main quest and that's the, it'll take us into the town anyway. Yeah. Uh. All righty, we shall go into the town. I'm assuming there's nothing to pick up out here. To be fair, we did actually miss a lump of land that we could have been... What's that up there as well? Something up in them there, pirates, isn't there? That's our ship. Is that where we came down? Because we came down there, didn't we? There's the volcano. God, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Right. 
Always a slightly slower start to these sorts of games, people. Lots to take in and customise and such likes. As it happens, this is probably an ideal place to wrap it up for part one. We're ready to crack into Edgewater and we shall do so in part two. I enjoyed that, actually. I can see how it's building up. As I say, it's always a little bit slow getting going in these things. Same with Fallout. It does look, it is very Fallout-esque, but it's got all those other vibes thrown into it, like Bioshock and what have you. The music's fantastic, gameplay's lovely, visuals very nice. I like the fact that it doesn't, visually it doesn't feel like Fallout, even though the mechanics are, are kind of soaked in there. So there you are. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in this brand new game, which I've forgotten the name of, The Outer Worlds. <laughs> and I shall see you all in part two. Take it easy, folks. Bye.